Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Outlast. Now I've been waiting for this game for a long time and I'm sure that many of you have as well. It's one of the uh, a really big upcoming horror titles that's going to be a longer Let's Play, so get settled in for a nice enjoyable ride. I know that says continue, but I only clicked on the new game button uh, once. I have not played this at all. I've actually intentionally avoided any sort of gameplay or trailer about this game. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! I think I will! You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth, always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret of the heart of Mountain Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mountain Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. I think I'll go with the run and hide option. I tried the die option in many of the other horror games I played. It never seems to turn out that well. Mount Massive Asylum. I said what? Okay. Low flying helicopters near. I can barely hear that. It, it's. The radio is kind of dulled out from everything else. Box Elder. Oh, and there the radio goes. Okay. Mount Massive Asylum. Is that where the crazed butt stabber escaped from? I'd like to think so. In fact, in this game, I may encounter quite a few crazed butt stabber. I really have been very, very, very interested in playing this game because um, this game is made by a bunch of industry professionals uh, that banded together out from AAA game studios. They banded together because they wanted to create a, a horror experience unlike any other. And um, along the same vein as some other horror, horror games, you know, you don't have the option to fight. And whoa, hello. They're glowing. 17th of September 2013. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys! Terrible things happening here, don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. If you say so, broham. I'm not entirely sure what was going on, but either way, the graphics in this game are obviously you know, gonna be way better than uh, any of the indie games I played. Oh, I am playing through a camera. Hello, Miles Upshur. My nice press pass. I have night vision mode. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I got a couple tools at my disposal, especially for recording. But anyway, the graphics are gonna be very, very, very good because this is um, this is about as good as indie games get in terms of development cycles. Who let me in? I seem to have just waltzed in and who closed that gate? Questions, questions, questions. Okay, so I can lean to the right and the left. Let's see, is that Tinky Winky? Is this Slendy Tubbies? No, it can't be. All right, so I don't know what the interact button, um, press the left mouse button and open the door slowly. So is it like, oh, okay, so it's not quite like amnesia. Right mouse button to raise the camcorder. All right, this will. Hello? Alright, note to read it. Mount Massive Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. All right, if you say so, Miles Upshur. Okay, this is Miles Upshur reporting directly from Mount Massive Asylum. It seems to be awfully windy here. I don't need this up. I don't know if I have a battery or something. Are these army vehicles? Really? What happened here? 
And why is there nobody nearby and why am I just waltzing in? You'd think there'd be some sort of security. Oh wait! Demonic horrific investig in, in infestation, I mean. Not investigation. Hello? Bing bong! Delivery. Okay, so I'm assuming that I gotta find another way around. Hello, this seems to be like a suitable location. I don't know if I have indefinite sprint. Okay, that's locked up. Definitely not. Can I jump? Okay, I can jump forward, but not up. I'm just gonna bunny hop my way over here. Hello! Hmm, I do believe this gate is locked. Okay, so there's gotta be something around here like a cellar door. It makes sense that I would come into a horror game and especially a mental institution through the cellar. Ah, here we go. Teach me how to crouch at the same time. Get all the tutorials out of the way. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the graphics right now. It's very nicely well done. Superb. Okay, can I go in here? Hello? Yes. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Oh, come on. Can I bash it down? Nope, jiggly, jiggly. All right, so that was a negatory. I thought it was guiding me the right way to go with the light, but I see a window up there that I'm gonna try to get up. Ladder! See, you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Yeah, I see that. Is there anything in What? Did I just pee my pants? Oh, okay, I just, I was, okay. Hang on there. <laughs> Don't go crazy just yet. Hmm. Obviously in the beginning of these, of these, uh, horror game, it spends a lot of time setting the tone for what the game is gonna be. You can actually pick up a lot of foreshadowing throughout the game in the beginning of the game. If you go back to Amnesia, there's actually quite a bit of foreshadowing throughout the game that's, uh, pretty interesting for what it's gonna be. Uh-oh! Well, That's the start of something bad! <laughs> what is this? This is that movie! I didn't see the movie, but you remember the movie? Outbreak or... Containment or... I forget what it's called. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Huh, haunted plant! Mmm, I can feel the leaves. Mmm. Okay. I've actually got a cool timer that says exactly how long I've been recording for. Let's see, I can turn that off, right? So, since I am an investigative reporter, I- Whoa, what did I just do? Hello, decided to caress the edge of this wall for a second there. Hmm, peeking out ever so closely. Dun 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 dun. Investigative reporter. Marshall Upshur? I forget what my name was. So okay, what was that? Was that the TV? Why did the TV do that? What is on that? There's something on that. Oh no, it's just a symbol. Hello? Why you be doing that? Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna keep the... Oh, okay, so I do sort of move it with my body. Alright. Squeeze through the gap. This is gonna be good. I already see blood on the walls, which is definitely a good sign. Can I hack into these computer systems? Ah, battery! Cool! Wonder why the infrared light needs separate batteries, but it's an interesting mechanic. Say, so, hey, what are you doing there? Hey, what's going on? Okay, so I only have a very specific amount of battery for the uh, infrared light. I need to just take that cautiously. Boop, 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 boop. Who's there? Collected documents. Let's read. Project Wall Rider. Billy! Yeah! Patient Billy! Awesome! Dr. Carl Houston. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four, homorns. Ho- homorn? Hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemo hematocrit centrifuge again, again failed to separate eth erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed eryth arrhythmic <sighs> REM NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes, Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claim that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger, oh, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security is improved to include analytic biometrics. All right. Oh, hello. That was a bit of a mouthful there. But I got through it nonetheless. 
I'm hoping that my narrative reading style will be... Oh, sorry, does someone want some privacy in the bathroom? Too bad! I'm a coming in! Excuse me! Are you tinkling in there? I gotta use your bathroom. Okay, never mind. Ooh, cola. My favy. Alright then, that's not a good sign. So either someone was going in or coming out. Let's see, what does this say? Rokigning for Bejudin. Hello. Got another battery. I see a little bar in the four of ten. Okay, whatever. No time for that. No time to go to the bathroom either. Oh, hello. Wait. There we go. Okay, so I can't I can't open anything. And let me put down my camera for a second there. Okay, seems like that. Whoa! Are those intestines? What? Someone is having nice intestine and cola snack. Mmm, the tasty treat that can't be beat. Okay, I'm guessing I'd go up here. Yeah, great idea. Let's go in the vent where there was blood. Investigative journalism at its best. Ah! Oh, hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Were you the guy that I was barging into the bathroom from? With? Maybe he was coming to collect me. He wanted me to join him. Or hold his hand. Or wipe his butt for him. I'm good at that. Professional butt wiper before I did YouTube. Let's see. Ah, you what was that? What the hell was that? What did you just throw at me? I wasn't ready for that. Jesus, calm down. Okay, so is it dead body? A headless dead body. All right, and there's another dead body. It is also headless. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Good, great, good, great. Uh -huh. All right, so this is how this game's gonna be. Oh, that's so creepy. Is that a thing full of heads? Okay, so maybe at this point I would like to dive out the window and run. <laughs> Okay. You can't fight them. Uh, you have to hide. I think I'll do that. You can unlock the main doors from security control. If you say so. And now you're gonna promptly die. You have to get oh, no, not yet. Fuck out of this terrible place. I'm gonna take your advice. And that window right there, I'm gonna come crashing through. That is a large collection of heads. Wow. Okay, I'm running out of battery. I gotta keep moving. Ooh. That guy was like in full body armor! How did I kill him? Thanks for the warning, bro. Okay. No, 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 open the door! Close the door! Close the damn door! Close the trick damn door! I'm pressing the left mouse button. Okay, fine. You know what? We're gonna turn that off. We're gonna creep along! Ever so gently. Until we find whatever the frick of frack I'm looking for. Hello? Watch out for me, I'm an investigative reporter! I got a camera recorder. Camera recorder. Camcorder. Okay. It's awfully bright! Little f- ah, 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 Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Mike Upshur, investigative reporter. How you doing? Oh, me, I'm Markiplier. Good to see ya. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Do I? Does that calling include insanity and death? Because that seems to be what happens in this place. So that was a, some sort of priest. Was that the guy from that painting? I saw a painting when I first entered the building of a guy who looked like some sort of a priest. That might have been that guy. Escape the asylum is my very first objective. Great idea! This f guy finally has the right idea, even though he didn't go backwards, but I guess he dropped down that vent, so he couldn't. So yeah. What is with this place and collecting people's heads? They're just severed heads left and right! This isn't good! 
That's not good. And that guy's- Excuse me, sir, you seem to have dropped your intestines all over the floor. You gonna pick those up? Oh, you're just gonna leave it for the janitor? What a douche. Alright. Okay. So, this- did you give me- okay, he didn't- I thought he took my camera for a second there. Let's see, are you dead? Are you actually dead? You seem to still have your head, so I'm gonna assume that you're not dead until you look like you're dead. Maybe I'll just put you to bed. Man, what- how the hecky heck did this all happen? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Okay. So anyway, that was a bit of a heart attack to start the game off. I am officially out of time for this part, but expect a lot more. I'm gonna be doing this series a lot. A lot up in the coming things. I might even go up to uh, three videos a day. Is that my blood? Okay, that's not my blood. So, this is gonna be an absolutely incredible game. Proclaim the gospel. This is absolutely gonna be an incredible game. I can already tell. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I'm so excited to play it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotation for more videos that I've done. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Finally back into the gameplay. I wanted to say that I'm not going to be interrupting any of the cutscenes. Like, I'm going to try to stay out of the story as much as possible because me as a Let's Player, I'm just doing commentary here on the game, but the story is so important and I don't want to interrupt it. In a lot of ways, I felt like a cameraman there just trying to get the best to see it. So anyway. Now I think we're finally getting into things. There might be more story here, so I might cut out. What is it?